Hi, welcome to Sullivan Arena here on the campus of St. Anselm's College. Big matchup today between the Bedford Bulldogs and Memorial High School. I'm joined, uh, my name's Steve Tepestra, joined with Pete Johnson. I uh, got the pleasure of working with your son the other day, Kevin, so it was good to see him home for vacation. Is he off to college again? Actually, he's refereeing, refereeing a nice yeah. hockey game uh, today. So. Okay. Well, we're, we're in for a good matchup today, a little repeat of the Christmas tournament. What do you think about today's game, Pete? Yeah, I think it's going to be a real close one. Um, if you remember from the Christmas tur tournament, Memorial actually won that game 3-1, to one, but the last goal was an empty netter, so it's really a 2-1 hockey game. We should see something very similar to that today. I agree. So uh, facing off this, this game here, Memorial had a couple of tough opponents this week. They lost to Mer Merrimack in, a, in just a scrim, not a scrimmage, but a game, but they played a D2 game. And they also lost to Salem. Salem, I peg, as the top team in Division One at this point. So they've had, coming off a couple losses. Bedford off of a, a real important victory this past Wednesday. They beat Exeter 3-1. to one. So we're seeing a couple of teams, one that's a little bit fired up and one that's on a nice roll at Bedford at 7-0. and So I agree, it should be a good, good matchup today. So we're back for a first period action. Well, here we are back at Sullivan Arena after the national anthem. I'm joined by Pete Johnson. Uh, joining me up here watching the game and appreciate uh, Mike Courier and Castle Hill Media, Castle Hill Sports, I should say, and for uh, taping this game for us. Uh, looking forward to a really good game today, Pete. Uh, both teams are ready to go. And the starting lineups are announced and, and so on. And uh, we're looking forward to a solid game today. What do you think? Uh, you know, we <laughs> both lineups are chatting away here, getting ready in their, uh, you know, in front of their goalies, really getting, getting together here. Looking forward to a really good competitive game. So, uh, referee is going to call both uh, starting lineups out here for the action today. So, getting the start today, second line uh, from Bedford, uh, Donato out there, joined with Nate and uh, Cam Blaisdell and Nate John and Donato Tempesta starting. And uh, back on D is Drew Connolly and Ace uh, and uh, Alex Abad. I think what the Coach Marty's doing is looking for a little bit of a, a matchups. You know, they got to play each other, and they matched each other up. So they they got to play the Christmas tournament, and Coach is looking for a little bit of a a matchup. What do you what do you make of, what do you make of how the, to start in the game today? No, I think that's exactly right. I think he's trying to try out some different line combinations, and I think that's great, and, and mixing them up, and see which line's going to produce for him. And he's done that uh, all along. So. So I think uh, what they're looking for is just something, anything that they can start a game up here. So good choice, you know, starting a different line, you know, giving uh, Memorial a different look. Oh, we're going to have a power play here for Memorial. Number 27. So Drew Connolly headed to our captain, headed to the box here. I'm not sure if these two gentlemen were the two referees from the uh, junior varsity game. It was just held before this. So Bedford had a uh, JV game. Uh, they played... St. Thomas, uh, they came away victorious with a 5-0 win, but boy, these uh, these two gentlemen called a lot of penalties in that game too, so. It does look like the same refs. So Bedford's gonna go shorthanded. So out here, killing penalties right now uh, on defense in the corner. Valancourt goes in the corner hard. Uh, comes away with the puck on a one on three in the corner. Out front, manning the, manning the front of the net. Brett Silva, 26. Brett Veyu and Asa Parker. Well, Memorial just trying to control the puck here, back to the D. Pelletier with a quick shot. Sky high, a deflection. Behind the net, Johnson wins the battle up to the Bryce, Bryce Jacobs. Uh, we didn't get to see him in the Christmas tournament, number 20. I'm not sure exactly why he wasn't available, but, but he wasn't available. So. And nice save right there to sequence of shots. The goaltender's going to have to be big today, Pete. Yeah, and uh, Memorial just changed off their number one line, had their top three scorers on that number one line, so we have to keep an eye on that line. I agree. So nice save again, chipping it out. Griffin Gagney with the puck, looking for Nate John. So, uh, you know, Memorial keeps their guys back out there. They still have out, on, out there uh, Bryce Jacobs on D, number 20. Seems to be their their guy, their their player that seems is going to get a lot of ice time today. And we have it on off, off, offsides, but Bedford's going to stay back. So this looks like their second power play unit here from Memorial Jacobs with the puck. 
Passing it to uh, Matt Fitzgerald. Down below the net, Fedorov out in front. Battling for position there. Sullivan, Ryan Sullivan. And so Jake Poitras with a nice sh shot. I believe number six right there is Eric Langley. So what I understand is one of their top defensemen, Jacob Gendron, has been injured. Uh, mild separation of shoulder, can't play. He's got a couple days off. So Jake Poitras, number eight, is playing uh, on defense today. Not as not something he's unfamiliar with, just not his normal natural position. He looks solid, though. He's, he's keeping the puck in right there, as you see. So penalty's over. And uh, Bulldogs looking to capitalize, maybe get it over the red line for a change here, try to, to get a shot on net. So we go five to five, five on five action here. We're going to see the change in lines as uh, Bulldogs bring out another fresh set of legs. Looks like a third line here. So this may be the opportunity for the Bulldogs here with this particular line to really get a chance. Nice shot right there by Asa, just uh, trying to keep that puck low. This may be the, the difference in the game here with these two lines. If, uh, that certainly the Bulldogs third line and the Memorial third line are they're two different lines for sure. Yeah, we'll see how much Memorial plays that third line. I think you're right. There. I think Bulldogs are deeper. Absolutely. Jay Roberto back to Brett Silva. Quick shot. Nice job by the Memorial defenseman to keep that puck wide. And uh, back to the first line for Memorial. Bulldogs just trying to get it in deep and work, uh, you know, as we saw in the game against Exeter a couple nights back. Uh, really, the, the whole point of the Bedford's offense is to get the puck over the red line, get it deep, and go hard and look for first shots and then look for rebounds. Ooh, Big hit right there, hit. Pelletier on, on Valancourt. So out with the puck comes uh, Jay Roberto pushing in and deep, challenging Griffin Curley behind the net. Asa, Asa Parker, huh? That's Wrong Brett number, Veyu. that's Brett Veyu. <laughs> I saw the three and got excited. Um, battling loose puck, just slapping away at it. Jay Roberto out to the top. Matt Giroux with a quick shot, deflected in front. So Memorial's going to stand in front of a lot of shots today, P. One of the big uh, things they have going for them is be able to make make saves without it having to get to the goal tee. Yeah, they do a nice job clogging up the center there and forcing, trying to force Bedford to shoot from the outside, which puts a lot of legs in the way of the puck. Two, uh, two really good friends here, Johnson and Tempesta. Been playing youth hockey together for a long time. Broken stick. And looks for a quick break. Unable to keep the puck in the zone. And a two-on-one action here. Fedorov looking for a teammate. Shot on net. Swallowed up by Lindbergh. Hits him right in the bullseye, right in the middle of the Bedford uh, Bulldog logo. Yeah, Memorial's had a few shots here, but uh, nothing that uh, Lindbergh has been able to track down so far, so uh, nothing really challenging. Taking the face off, Asa Parker. Dump in by Memorial, quickly brought out by Drew Conley. Waved off the icing. First on the puck is a Memorial player challenging that play, Jack McDonough. Out with the puck comes Memorial. Quick pass out, nice breakout right there, dumping it in. Number 22, over, looking for a quick pass out front. Tyler Gamble, carrying it to the red line, tossed it on net. Nice easy glove save right there, long distance shot. They're mixing that line up too, uh, Bedford is. They have uh, Asa playing with a variety of different players today so far. So in the corner, Jay Roberto, one on two. In comes Brett Veyu to help. Roberto still battling behind the net, battling with Putney and another player from uh, Memorial 13. Sorry, I don't know his name. Regan Sedler. 
I apologize, I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Roberto sneaking in, looking for a pass out front. Back door is Brett Silva. Couldn't find the puck, couldn't get to him. Valancourt at ah, the blue line, couldn't control that puck and keep it in the zone, a little bouncy puck. Silva back in the zone. D to D behind the net, challenging that play is Brett Veyu putting some pressure on Silva, stepping right in. A nice opportunity there. Covering nicely was Jacob Rio. Looking out front, pass to Jacob Rio. Quick shot, quick rebound, loose puck. Can't get to it. So close. A couple of real good chances there for Bedford and, and nice puck control in the zone. Nice little play by Jacob Rio just to toss that puck in. Battling behind the net, lost track of it, couldn't find it. Little hook right there, no call. So Putney behind the net being challenged by Tempesta. Back in the zone, Matt, Matt Drew dumping that puck in. Really difficult time right now for uh, Memorial to get any, any time to type of sustained pressure to get it out of the zone. First time they've had it over the red line in a little bit. And they tried to change their number one line off too, so now Bedford has another opportunity here to push the uh, uh, puck up the ice. Blaisdell. Nate John looking for Tempesta, just couldn't, uh, couldn't connect right there, so back D to D. Drew over to Abad. Abad threw a bunch of traffic and a knocked down by one of the Memorial players. Off, Off the head of the referee right there. <laughs> Asa Parker over the blue line, threw some legs, dumped down for his trouble by Griffin Curley. Nice play. Tyler Gamble keeps the puck in nicely. Wow, well, I was looking for a player. I'm trying to figure out who was missing out there, and it's uh, Griffin, uh, Griffin Gagne. He appears to be off to the side over here talking with the... Talking with the trainer, he's got his shirt off, holding his wrist. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. He's getting a little, a little taped up or something happened to him, so he's getting a little attention. Yeah, that's why I think that line changed up. Yeah. So I couldn't, I couldn't for the life of me, Pete, I couldn't figure out who was missing on the line. <laughs> now we know. Another shot on net by Gamble. You know, good couple opportunities here by the Bulldogs, really putting pressure on the goaltender really putting pressure on the defense from from uh, Memorial just having difficulty I think this is a success for Bedford is just get shots on net and rebounds yeah and, and five on five they seem able to keep that puck pretty well in the zone uh, more so than Memorial can well that's what basically what they had done to, to Exeter a couple days back so nice play Valancourt big hit right there on Putney coming out Nice poke by Silva. Ooh, that got through Brett Silva's legs. I'm not sure Lindbergh even saw that puck. No, but he had the, he had the stick where it needed to be. Solid off the stick. Absolutely. Behind the net, Valancourt. Coach is hollering some instructions. Out. Asa Parker coming out with that puck. Nifty play behind his back. All alone. Trying to dangle through as guys were changing. Unfortunately, had nobody with him there. Jay Roberto in the corner, looking for a D. Taken down by Burgess. Parker. Rimmed around the net. Quick shot. Deflected just wide. Keeping the puck in. Brett Veyu at the blue line. And here comes Pelletier. Jacob Rio really challenging him. Taking him down. Electing just to toss that puck in. Change the line. Memorial goes off. Brett Silva, a little bit slow with the decision process there. Could have made a nice play, but Memorial body in the way took away that passing lane. So Abad out with the puck at the red line, continuing to carry. Memorial just let him carry that puck a long way. Yeah, they, they're not uh, forechecking, and they're not really sl slowing Bedford down as they come out of the zone. Again with the puck in the zone, challenging the play. Rio on the puck hard. Seems to be the forecheck from the Bulldogs is to send two guys in hard and, and really just 
go as hard and as fast as they can, just get pressure on the D. And, and having success right now. Yeah, forcing bad passes from Memorial. 2 on one opportunity, Johnson and Fedorov, quick shot, Fedorov rebound. Lindbergh lost sight of that puck. Puck's below, a mess of bodies down there, digging for the puck now, Abad. And out with the puck comes Jay Roberto. Nice shifty move right here to the red line, continuing to carry it. It's got no help, everybody's changing. Looking for a play, Nate John couldn't control that pass. Keeping the puck in. Matt Musgrave at the blue line. Chipped out. Heads up, everybody. <laughs> I'm not sure why Drew Conley did that, but he just fired a puck and almost took Marty Myers out. With <laughs> and almost took the ref out as well. My guess is he was looking to, to bank it off the boards and get it into the zone that way, but he got a little high. Yeah, a little, little uh, that puck came in pretty hot to the bench at belt, uh, the front of the Bulldogs there. No glass in front of the, uh, the bench. It went in pretty hard. Marty was ducking for cover, that's for sure. Drew Conley ar around the net again. Unable to connect with Nate John. Nice pat, but pass uh, Matt Musgrave. So back to, uh, back to the lines here. Griffin Gagne uh, back on the ice. We'll have to find out in between periods kind of what happened with him, but looks like he's... Uh, Favoring his arm or his ribs, or I'm not sure what took place. Maybe he took a puck or something like that off him. So, but he's back taking the faceoffs here. But very nice work by Jack McDonough covering for him, and so good for him for getting out there. Yeah, and now we have the line back together. So, nice physical play right there by Brett Silva coming out. Asa Parker looking for a pass off to. Gamble, unable to go tape to tape, but managed to get a shot on net right here. Oh, just couldn't get the shot off. Just wide of the net, trying to feed that puck and feather that out front to, to, to Gagne, couldn't do it. Offsides is the call. Oh, it looked like an offsides. No, they're calling a penalty here. On who? On Memorial, looks like uh, Pelletier's gonna head to the bench for a slash, knocking the knocking the stick out of the hand of the Bedford player. So Bedford awarded a power play here. 2.42 remaining in the first period, 0-0 tie. What are we looking here for on a power play, Pete? What are, you, what are you hoping for here? Well, you know, they've already shown good puck control five on five. With five on four, they should have an easy time moving the puck around the outside and looking for a man slashing through the, through the center or an outside shot as well to set up a rebound. Nice play right there, D to D. Looking to set up the overload here to the corner. Keeping that puck in, Alex Haybad. <laughs> Trying real hard to keep it in. And he does, nice knob right there. Helping him right, helping him at the blue line, number 11. Jay Roberto, Alex at the top of the umbrella, just tossing it to the net. Battling for a puck, looking for another shot on net. I don't think the goalie ever saw nope. that puck, just happened nope. to catch a pad. Nifty save right there by the goaltender from, uh, from Memorial, Brandon McKenzie, who's having, by the way, a fantastic season. And two good opportunities by Bedford on that. So let's see if they can uh, get a couple more here with a penalty halfway, almost halfway done. Wow, what a nice pass. Fed that pass through a bunch of bodies right there. Matt Giroux able to feed that pass. and Good shot on that, just a nice save. So forwards changed by the Bulldogs. Asa Parker with the puck now, waiting for his defensive pair to get out there. Asa to the top of the umbrella. Brett Silva, this is what they're looking for. Quick shot. Asa at the top of the umbrella, slap shot. Nice save, Brandon turns that puck aside. Silva back to Parker. Silva with the puck now, looking for a shot. Quick shot on net, loose puck. Quick, quick whistle right there. Yeah, it was a quick whistle, but I think the goalie was going to cover it up anyway before the Bedford player got there. So 30 seconds remaining on this power play. The two power plays, a little bit of a different look where they, they really try to cycle that puck on the, on the first power play we saw on, a, on an overload and down low. With this one, they really try to feed it back to the def defensive pair on the wings for shots or to uh, Parker for a shot from up top. At the top, yeah. So out with the puck, Burgess, looking to just get that puck in deep, trying to kill the rest of the penalty. 
So challenges the puck behind the net. Out comes it, so it's a look a little bit of a five on three here. Valancourt wants to get the blue line, dumps it in. And around that net. Silver first, the battles first to the puck. Penalty's over. So five on five action here with 30 seconds remaining. Waving off the icing. Nate John. Quick little tip pass out to Asa Parker. 20 seconds remain. Nice deflection right there. Well played by Regan, uh, Regan Sedler. Well, you got Sniper coming down. Asa Parker, uh, 13, uh, 20 seconds remaining. That was a nice play by the defender. Yeah, you, you had mentioned that you hadn't heard that name before. He's just a freshman. That's probably why. But uh, really good play staying in front of the speedy uh, Parker. Quick shot. No one there to tip it in. Uh, looking for another chance. Oh, he, 10 seconds remaining. Maybe one last opportunity here by the Bulldogs. Quick shot on net. Big save right there as we, we have <laughs> 0.1 seconds left on the clock. That would have counted, folks. That would have counted. If it could have gotten by. This is just basically going to drop the puck and the horn will blow. So as we finish up here, first period action, 0-0. Zero, zero. Both teams get an opportunity on the power play. Bedford here in the final uh, waning minutes of the, the first period controlling the play. What do, you, what do you see from the first period, Pete? Yeah, exactly right. I think on the power play, I think Bedford has some really good opportunities. Memorial had some as well on their power play. But five on five, it looks to me like Bedford's controlling the puck a little better in the zone, and Memorial's having a tougher time breaking it out. Well, I think we're going to see, continuing to see the same uh, from both teams here, a little bit back and forth, uh, trying to match up lines for the remaining, you know, second period, third period. So a little bit longer of a change here in the second period. I think that still favors the Bulldogs just with their speed and the depth that they have. But neither team able to uh, to score here in the first period. So we enter the second period 0-0. We'll be back for second period action shortly here at Sullivan Arena on the campus of St. Anselm's College, a matchup between the Bedford Bulldogs and Memorial Crusaders. Second period about to begin, 0-0. Zero, zero. Pete, what do you think for the uh, start of the second period? What are we looking for here from the Bulldogs? Well, I think the same thing, really. Continued pressure, getting the puck into the zone and keeping it there and, and working their shots. Um, you know, the shots first period were 11-7 in favor of Bedford. Um, so I think that uh, they'll start going if they keep up that pressure. So you, you did a little bit of homework there. You said that, uh, talk to the trainer, I guess, about Griffin Gagney. What did you find out about him? You actually talked to Coach Marty Myers, did, and okay. uh, Marty said that he uh, sustained a uh, cut, a skate cut to his up, upper body uh, just underneath his uh, right shoulder. Um, and uh, But he's going to be fine. He's going to play uh, the rest of the game, assuming it doesn't get worse. Well, that's good. I'm glad he's back out there, probably a little taped up and ready to go. So. Some of these kids are just so into it, just like the pros. They don't want to miss a shift. They don't want to miss anything, and they just kind of tough it out. So good for him for doing that. Uh, hopefully it's nothing major. Obviously, it's if it were, it would be uh, <laughs> he wouldn't be playing, right? That's right. They, they watch him real carefully. The trainer got a good look at it. And uh, you know this trainer's been with the team for quite a few years, so uh, we have high confidence that he knows what he's doing. Well, that, that line just finished up, had a great shift. Almost got a shot. Griffin Gagne with a quick shot on net here earlier, but... So, Nate John with the puck looking for a teammate. Can't get it through the legs there of one of the defenders from Memorial. So, with the puck, Donato Tempesta, quick shot. In between his legs, loose. No, it's underneath him. It's a nice job by the goalie there to keep that puck underneath him when he wasn't even sure it was there. Well, advantage has been to the Bulldogs here for the first minute of the second period. Not, uh, not too much activity here from Memorial. Just trying to get pressure, trying to get the puck over the red line and get it in deep as a Memorial, they just can't. Yeah, again, I think past that first line, they're struggling to, to break it out. Um, looks like they might have mixed up the lines a little bit here, uh, maybe trying to find something. So Matt Giroux behind the net. Challenged by Matt Fitzgerald from Memorial. And Memorial being able to put a little pressure here on the Bulldogs as the Bulldogs are running around their zone a little bit, a little bit uh, 
out of sorts at the moment, so we're going to see a little bit delayed offsides. So forwards changing here for the Bulldogs. Really just leaving their defender high and dry back there with a two-on-one. Yeah, well, but the defender knows it. He knows that the line change is going on, so he ties the puck up and tries to settle it down until the, uh, the line change is complete, which he did very well. Nice play right there. Brett Veyu, quick shot on that here. Nice save by the goalie as he was able to just deflect it wide. In the corner, Brett Veyu battling. Trying to bring the puck out front. Jay Roberto unable to do so, deflected wide. Moyle able to pick up the loose puck and back with it. Bryce Jacobs tossing that puck in deep. Looks like they uh, decided to put Jacobs up front with Putney and Burgess to generate a little bit of an offensive uh, something. And they got Pelletier back on D. I mean, maybe it's just a temporary switch uh, here. It looks like it was Could just temporary. Be. My bad. I think you're absolutely right, Pete. So what happens sometimes if the defenseman's bringing the puck down, they, they carry it further deeper into the zone and the forward falls back to, to cover the line for him. I think that's just what happened. First real shot from the second period here for uh, Memorial and easy save, just pushing that to the side by the goaltender, Joe J. Roberto. Quick shot, glove save right there. Boy, he's looked really good in that Brandon McKenzie. Yeah, if when he's seeing the shots, we're not going to score that way. We're going to have to get some traffic in front and uh, make them uh, not lose sight of that puck. Well, I think you're right. I think the traffic is really important, and getting the goaltender to move left and right and opening up that five hole is, uh, is up absolutely what they need to do. So we're getting our chances, just not uh, exactly what we're looking for. So. Yeah, against a, a good goalie, you know, you, you can generate a lot of shots, but not a lot of good chances if you're just shooting it right into his belly every time. So we want to thank uh, Castle Hill Sports again for, for taping, taping this game for us and giving us an opportunity, Pete and I, to stand up here and uh, let you guys know what's uh, going on with uh, Bedford Hockey. Behind the net, Tyler Gamble looking for a pass out front. Backhander just, just blocked through traffic. Asa Parker, loose puck, covered up nicely by Brandon McKenzie. Yeah, he keeps the puck right in, square in front of him at all times. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll get lucky on a, on a rebound like that. But in general, he's, he's done a nice job keeping the puck close. Looks like Memorial has a player on the other side of the bench over there, number 19, Griffin Curley. One of their top defenders, assistant captain, walking back to the to their locker room. I'm not sure what happened to him. We'll have to find out what happened to him. But he's an important part of this Memorial defensive uh, squad. Putney on a break. Big save right there. Big, big save right there by Alec Lindbergh. Boy, that was just a mix-up at the blue line. The two defenders from the Bulldogs kind of bumping into each other and allowed the breakaway by Putney. Yeah. And they took an unfortunate penalty. Brett Silva having to compensate for the mix-up there. Took a slashing penalty on, on Andrew Putney. Yeah, that happens a lot when, when uh, somebody gets a breakaway. Uh, a defenseman will react to try to uh, slow it down and end up with a penalty. Wow, that was a big save by Lindbergh. But shorthanded Bulldogs go with... 10.45 left in the second period. Blaisdell to the corner. Looking for a little help. She's going to stay in the corner. One on two. We're going to get a penalty here. Pushing and shoving after the whistle. There's a hook. The ref up high is calling a hook. I sure didn't see a hook down low, unless it was away from the puck. Wow, it must have been away from the puck as uh, number two, Brennan Johnson, heads to the penalty box. A real fortunate uh, fortunate call right there. Must have been away from the play, tugging one of the uh, white shirts down from the Bulldogs. So, so we're going to see four on four here. Out for Memorial is Putney and Pelletier up front, along with Bryce Jacobs on D and uh, number 13, Regan Sedler. And out for the uh, out for the Bulldogs, Asa Parker and Jay Roberto, Valancourt and Matt Musgrave. 
Big hit right there by Valancourt. Beautiful hip check by him. Out uh, with the puck, Asa looking for Jay Roberto, carrying over the blue line, looking for a pass. Nifty waist high, nifty waist high shot right there by Asa Parker. Boy, that's pretty good uh, hand-eye coordination. It's amazing he can pick the puck out of the air like that. Oh, uh, that's going to be a hit We're from gonna behind. We're going to see a hit right here by Jacobs. Heading to the box. Jacobs, we didn't get to see him in the Christmas tournament. He was, uh, unfortunately, couldn't play again. I don't, I'm not really sure why. He's not too happy about the call, that's for sure. Well, he's had a couple things to say to uh, Valancourt as they skate away. So Bulldogs go up on a four on three here. We don't get to see this. A lot of penalties called on this sequence. Four on three, Gagne and, and Asa Parker out there with Alex Abad and Matt Giroux looking for just uh, control and some speed. And depending upon what happens here, they could end up with a short five on three even. So 50 seconds remain on the on the four on three, and then the Bulldogs will have a little bit, you're right, five on three and then a five on four for almost a full minute after that. Out of the net, quick shot by Gagne. Looking for that far post. Controlling the puck, Abad on the half wall. Looking for Parker out front, nice pass, just couldn't control that pass. Jacob Poitras able to ice that puck. Challenging the play from Memorial is Putney. Asa Parker with the puck, carrying it wide. Over the blue line, quick shot, right into the bread basket there of Brandon McKenzie, able to just swallow up that save. Fifteen seconds left on that four on three, and then it'll be a short five on three. So up top, Valancourt over to Matt. Matt Musgrave with the puck, controlling the play. Valancourt looking for a wing. Quick shot. Brett Veyu controlling that play, brings it wide. Was not able to get the shot off. There was an opening there. Valancourt, blocker save. Again with the shot. Boy, Brandon McKenzie's really holding this Memorial team into the play and keeping it at 0-0. Out of the penalty box. Johnson, five on four. Into the bench. Looks like we're getting a center ice face off here. So most of those penalties have cycled through, and we're at a position now where Memorial just has one player in the box for 33 more seconds, and then it'll be even strength. Well, I think you're absolutely right. What they have to be aware of is, you know, holding that play in the zone and then having that player come out. Bryce Jacobs is a talented offensive player, although he plays defense, but he's definitely a a talent out there, and uh, they have to be careful of him coming out of uh, the penalty box here. Shot just wide. I don't think the goalie saw that. That was not a very clean uh, effort at that puck. Keeping the puck in. Drew, quick shot. And the rebound. And there it is. Nice rebound goal by Brett Bayou on the shot by Matt Drew from the point. We'll take a quick look at that on replay. The puck just ends up squirting out to Matt Drew. Matt Drew just takes a nice, easy wrister. Keeping that shot low, off the right leg of the goalie, he kicks it right to Brett Veyu. Veyu buries it to the back of the net, and the Bulldogs go up 1-0. And that's just, that's textbook 101 point shot where you try to keep it low to get the rebound off the, off the pad, and that's exactly what happened. Well, you know, you, you teach that in, you know, all the time, the kids growing up, and you know what? They, they just like having it go off the glass. I'm not sure why, but that was a real nice play by Matt Giroux just... A simple, simple play. Nothing special about that shot from the point, but it was on net, and we get the benefit of a nice rebound. Yeah, McKenzie had done a nice job keeping those rebounds short in front of him until that one. Wide shot as it gets deflected into the corner goes Cam Blaisdell. Behind the net, Nate John battling. Blaisdell just putting a body on somebody. Ooh, he took big, an elbow. Big hit right there by Putney. He takes a takes the punishment on his own. Oh, we're going to get a retaliation penalty here by Cam Blaisdell, a little bit fired up from yeah. the high stick or the hit by Putney. Yeah, he took an elbow, I think, from the Memorial player, and he wasn't happy about it, and so he whacked him with a stick, and that's what happens. 
the ref doesn't always see the first penalty, and but they almost always see that second one. Well, I think uh, I think he'll probably get spoken to from the coaching staff about that one. That's one that you just got to let go, and there's no point in coming out of the corner as the puck is completely gone from that area. So, Bulldogs go down short-handed here with 7:24 in the second period. Able to ice that puck is Matt. Parker might get to it. Real nice work right there by Asa Parker. Looking for a big hit was Drew Conley. Just missed him. Matt Musgrave, big hit in the corner on, on uh, Burgess. And out with the puck. Nice deflection. Matt Musgrave looking for a shot. Anything on net. Deflected wide. Musgrave, one on two in the corner. Able to control it. Putting pressure on Putney. And he just decides to leave it be and skate away. Not giving any opening to Memorial. Having some difficulty getting it on their power play breakout play. And into the zone it goes on a nice tip by Johnson down deep. Conley looking to rim it, unable to do so. Kicked out to Pelletier, throwing it back behind the net. Well, Memorial just looking to keep the puck down low and control it, set it up. Yeah, they haven't had to do so just yet. They're in no big hurry to score, that's for sure. They're uh, moving the puck methodically around the edges. Well, Putney through the neutral zone. And he's going to look for a shot. Drew Conley picking up that loose puck after a nice tip by, by Gamble. They're able to knock that puck wide. All four uh, Bedford players come to the bench. 17 seconds remain into the scores booth. That puck goes. And <laughs> Andy Vandermitten down there with Mrs. Vandermitten and Melissa keeping score today. Protecting the wife. <laughs> So I mentioned this before, you know, the Vandermans, uh, you know, Mrs. Vanderman works at the school, so she's here. Uh, they had a couple boys come through the program, as did you, Pete. Well, tell us a little bit about where Brian's at and where Kevin's at right now. Uh, both are alumni of the Bedford hockey team, and both are at UNH studying business. Um, and uh, they come back and watch some of these games. It's always a pleasure seeing the alumni come back. Uh, I have an alumni as well. Stevie's up in Montreal at McGill, so it's always enjoyable seeing the kids come back. and. And, uh, and, and a lot come back. It's really good to see. You know, they come back to support their team and see how the kids coming up behind them are doing. And it's it's really a family that uh, that they've been able to assemble here, and it's good to see. So I agree. It's it's actually been a lot of fun as a a current parent of a player and a, a parent of a, an alumni player. So it's 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 a joy to watch the kids and see them really rally around each other. So penalties up now. So uh, we're full strength here. Boy, Brett Veo is just a man on a mission in the corner, just battling with player after player from the Memorial. And winning most of them. <laughs> winning just about every one. Up top, nice pass, D to D. Brett, Brett Silva, oh, unable to control that play. We're going to see a penalty on Silver for holding. His second of the day. Well, he, he sort of lost that puck on the boards there, and the puck just squirted by him and, you know, just got in the way of the, the offensive player from Memorial, and that's an obstruction call, and he had to grab something and probably did the right thing, but we're going to be shorthanded here. Bulldogs go shorthanded for two minutes, 4.47 remaining in the second period. So again, Memorial looking to establish some sort of offense here on a power play. Burgess on the half wall, coming out, quick shot, through traffic, didn't make it to the net. Nice little block right there by Matt Giroux. And a clear as well. Got it all the way down the ice. So Asa Parker putting a little pressure on Pelletier, coming out of the zone. Pelletier to Putney. Now well, Putney, Andrew Putney, uh, a brother and a sister that played for Memorial. His dad is the coach of the team. Mark Putney and I go back a long ways. I think you know Mark as well. Of course. We've uh, had the opportunity to coach together, he and I, so real, real good family. No, notice the, the, the little diamond play that Bedford plays here. They have a 1-2-1, one, one, as we call it. 
They have one person up front pressing the puck when as Memorial tries to break it out and, and two at the red line trying to stop the pass. It's a very effective uh, defense against the uh, shorthanded situation. Well, they've been running that for several years now, and it's a difficult play that teams seem to not be able to overcome. Now, we saw that on Wednesday with Exeter. They just couldn't get the puck out of the zone. It's, and it, uh, It's very good. It, it works really, really well because teams like to break out the puck to the boards, and when you have somebody pressing the pass and two other people waiting back for where the pass is going, very hard to complete it. Well, the guy that I really liked watching... Uh, Play. The two, two guys I really liked watching that was Micah Hearn, uh, who was just amazing at that forecheck, and then, uh, um, oh, I'm blanking out on his name right now, Kurt Mitchell. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, Kurt, was, Kurt could fly, too. So it was really good to watch those guys. Nice Tough save, rebound. unable to catch that rebound. Nice play okay. by Brad Veyu just to put a body out front and knock that puck wide. Going to get a trip here, it looks like against Bedford. So Nobody. Bulldogs going to go five on three. Yeah, maybe not. They might hold off until the... Well, looks like Griffin Gagne is going to head to the penalty box for a, a trip. You know, late in that sequence, we could have seen another penalty for an interference call on uh, Drew Conley, but they, were, they let that one go, but could have been two minors. Yeah, they, I think they usually do when there's already a minor. They give you a little more leeway, I think, uh, on that, but... So we're going to be five on three here just for four seconds. So 250 remains in the second period. Bulldogs up 1-0. Unfortunately, took another penalty. And this is the exact situation Bedford did not want to find themselves in, especially uh, coaxing a one-goal lead. Don't give the uh, opponents a chance to score to tie it up late in the period. So uh, with the puck comes... Memorial, long errant pass. Asa Parker with the puck, looking to just dump it down. And he does successfully, back on the puck. Griffin Curley back on the ice after a short time in the, probably with the trainer. Yeah, we'll try to see if we can find out what was going on during between periods and uh, find out what the uh, issue was. Nifty little pass right there out to Asa Parker. Unfortunately, not a, not a lightning shot, but you know what, just get it on net. Going hard to net Brett Silva. Yeah, some coaches like to see that um, when you're shorthanded. Other coaches would prefer, unless it's a really high-quality shot, that you push it to the sides and just kind of kill some time. But uh, uh, Parker must have seen that he thought he had a good chance to make it happen. So 121 remaining on the power play for Memorial as they set up behind the net, winning the faceoff to the corner. Jacob Poitras looking for a long pass out to Bryce Jacobs, getting by the D and able to get back as is Valancourt, nice little pass out front, looking for Burgess, unable to connect. Poitras with the puck, down deep to Putney. Putney looking for a teammate. Jacobs, back to Putney behind the net. Back to Jacobs on the half wall. Quick shot, nice save right there. Quick whistle that we got the benefit of this time. Well, you know, we've been watching this game, you know, today and in the past couple games previously, and uh, Lindbergh's actually uh, been playing very, very well. No argument there. He's been playing well, but boy, he's been struggling when he's making that glove save, and he's had a couple pucks bounce out of his glove like we just saw right here. So something he's probably going to need to sort of figure out and practice with that glove. In front of the net, putting real pressure on him as Putney as that puck goes wide. Good shot from the point from Langley. Putney behind the net. Oh, we got a stick up in the face. And we're going to see a, a penalty here on... It's on to be a memorial for a high stick into Alex Abad's face. I call the hookings. Well, he hooked his neck. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was just an accidental stick up high that just caught him. Uh, but a nice, uh, you know, a, a, a evens out the lines here, 4-4 four and four for 22 seconds, and the Bulldogs will go on a power play shortly thereafter for the rest of the period. So nice, uh, interesting play here. If the Bulldogs or Memorial scores, nobody comes out of the penalty box. 
it's one of those circumstances in hockey where, you know, it's four on four, it's even play, no one's advantage, so uh, no one gets to return to the ice. Unlike uh, a normal power play, if it's just a five on four situation, a goal is scored, the team gets their player back. Bedford has to clear the zone as the puck popped past the blue line. So first on the puck, Brett Veyu losing, not losing that battle, but just uh, puck comes out, center ice, and behind the net it goes. An errant pass. Oh, he almost stole that puck from the goalie. Good opportunity there for Veyu. So settling the puck in. down, Abad back to Abad, going to the top of the umbrella, looking for Roberto, shot wide, Matt Giroux. Nice pressure by Matcharu, keeping that puck in his Abad boy. Abad's got a real, real nice, nice stick work. Beautiful oh, oh, play. In. Third attempt right there. Jay Roberto tapping that puck home. So a nifty play by Abad, be able to keep that puck in. It ends up on the stick of Brett Veyu, who just kind of dangles through a few bodies. Throws it to the net. Jacob Rio had a shot at it, and then Jay Roberto able to just tap that puck home. I think McKenzie thinks that he had that covered and there was no whistle and that he lifted his glove and that's when uh, that's when Bedford picked up that second rebound. Yeah, I didn't really see him having that puck covered up the whole time. I'm not sure you did either, but... That's, I think, what he's complaining about. Well, Bulldogs go up 2-0, 27 seconds remaining. I'll tell you what, it, it's a killer to have the opposing team score a goal in the final minute of a period. Out with the puck, here comes Drew able to tap, oh, not Drew, sorry. Ballancourt. So the second period ends, Bulldogs really get advantage in that second period, score two goals, Pete, really important at the end of the second period to score that second goal with less than 30 seconds remain. Boy, that put a little pressure on Memorial. What do you think Memorial's going to do now coming out from the third period? Well, they're going to have to play, play desperate. You know, that goal, that, that was a close game. And as you saw when Bedford was shorthanded, that Memorial had some opportunities. And that this could easily be a 1-1 game instead of a 2-0 game. So I agree. So Bed Bedford uh, got a little lucky there. Memorial's going to have to get desperate. Well, I think you're right. They're going to have to play a little bit more, uh, more aggressively in this third period. The three lines from the Bulldogs are really wearing this team down at this point. Although in the second period, a lot of odd man play, so we didn't see the sequence of three lines coming out for the Bulldogs that frequently. I think we have a discussion in the locker room, I would suspect, about staying out of the penalty box. <laughs> I think at this point, on the, you know, on the side of the Bulldogs, be able to run three lines at these at these Memorial guys and really uh, just try to wear them down for that third period. And, and that's going to happen. In, what's going to occur in the third period is because of that wearing down, Memorial will be behind two goals. They're going to have to shorten their bench, which is going to further complicate problems on their side. So end of second period, Bulldogs up 2-0. to zero. We'll be back for third period action. Well, we're back here for third period action. Campus of St. Anselm's College at Sullivan Arena. Bedford takes a nice 2-0 lead at the end of the period, Pete, and really is going to put pressure on this Memorial team. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how Bedford plays it. Hopefully they'll still stay forward on their skates trying to push the offense um, and not fall back and play into a defensive shell. I agree. Well, fresh ice, I think it really advantages the Bulldogs as three lines real fast. Hopefully they can continue the pressure on this uh, Memorial team. Oh, unable to connect on that long pass. Icing uh, on uh, Bedford, back uh, face off to the left of Alec Lindbergh, the right of on our screen here. So shots that last period were 14 to four in favor of Bedford, which gives us a two uh, period total of 25 to 11. Really out shooting Memorial. Well, you know, the Bulldogs have had an advantage of a power play, but that's not it. I mean, they, they're just really playing well. Big, big glove save right there by Alec Lindbergh. Keeping that puck on uh, the offensive zone there. Coming out with the puck, Nate John looking for a teammate out front. Keeping that puck in, just dumping it in as Alex Abad looks like off the referee. That was going to be an icing. Controlling that puck, looking for a teammate out front. Oh, no. Nate John absolutely destroys Donato, his teammate, and 
at the blue line. It's not the way we draw him up, folks. No, no. Oh, and he took it, took a puck back for it. Yeah. A little bit of a scramble there in front of the Bulldog bench as they're changing lines. Jay nice Roberto out to, out to Brett Fayou. Nifty little shot. Boy, Brandon McKenzie's having a heck of a game. Another big save right there. So both goalies showing up here in this game. Lindbergh right there is the start of the third period. Big glove save on a wide open shot. And again, on the other end of the ice, McKenzie with another big save coming out real far to make that save. So both goalies looking real sharp here in this game. Yeah, and, and needed too. I mean, uh, obviously the number of shots that have been put on Memorial goalie, the, if he wasn't playing well, this could be a, a, a much bigger difference in this game. Oh, absolutely. Wow, this is a real big test here for the Bulldogs. You know, payback from the Christmas tournament, they unable to successfully win that that game and a, and a real good battle between both teams. Uh, this is the one that matters in the regular season, though. Yeah, and, and one of the differences between those two games, obviously it's later in the season, but both teams are playing with uh, shorter benches than they had uh, in that game, and, and they played most of their players rather than uh, playing with a, a shorter set. Well, out with the puck comes Memorial after some pressure there by the Bulldogs. Long dump in. Keeping that puck in, unfortunate, unable to. I thought he was going to put a glove up and get to that was Jacob Rio. Well, we see a player injured on the far side of the ice there. Uh, number 22, Nick Duhame. Took a big hit there. I'm not sure who, who, uh, who put that hit on him, but. Yeah, I heard it, but I didn't see who it was, so. Well, trainer Eric from the Bulldogs heads over to give a, give a look at the young man from Memorial. Hope he's okay. He's getting to his, uh, getting to his feet. Looks like it might be an issue with his ankle or his knee. So fortunately, no head injury. Those are the ones you really worry about. Yeah, the, the fact that he was able to walk back to his own bench under control is a, is a positive sign. At Definitely least. a good sign. That is for sure. Griffin Gagne throwing that puck in deep. Again, pressure by the Bulldogs. Two pucks on, two, two Bulldogs on that puck really just puts pressure on the D. And what that means is the Bulldogs really have confidence in their defenders. They always have. They have a lot of confidence in their defensemen to be able to really control the play. Another big leg save right there as Burgess just tossing that puck to the net after he picks up a, an errant pass. Yeah, it was a bad pass up the board, so they attempted to hit his man, but it went, was way off, and the uh, Memorial defenseman easily picked that puck up and got back down in, and the Bedford defensemen were just out of, out of position. Lindbergh needed to come up big, and he did. Well, he's needed to come up big a couple times in this game, and he has successfully at this point every single time, so that's great. So Memorial on a delayed offsides. Tyler Gamble circling back with the puck, looking for a teammate. Griffin Gagne tipping it in long into the corner. Aaron pass out front. Asa Parker with a quick shot. Really took a shot there, winding up. Probably could have uh, avoided the slap shot and just gone with a nice little snapshot just to get that puck on net and look for a quicker rebound. But winds up with a slap shot and the puck ends up down in our zone. Yeah, it's a good shot though. I mean, Asa needs to take those shots when he's open. Uh, those will go occasionally. Face off to the, to the right of Lindbergh on our screen. And winning the puck to the corner. Bulldogs up and out. Neutral zone. Puck just squirted in between the feet there of Matt Giroux. Big hit right there by Nate John, chipping that puck out. Alex Abad battling in the corner. Behind the net. Uh oh. Oh, not a good pass right there out front. Lindbergh Big again, again. Lindbergh, boy. 
He's helped his, uh, he'll helped his teammates out a few times. Yeah, I'm sure Marty's going to talk to the defense about some of those, uh, those passes and those plays that he doesn't want his goalie to be tested so much. I, I agree. Nobody does. As a former goalie parent, you don't <laughs> want your goalie tested that much. That is for sure. Nice check. Nice little play right there. A lot of uh, a lot of red shirts where that puck was, and no, uh, not too many men on the ice call. But Jacobs with the puck, regrouping. Big hit right there. Could looks have been like called gonna, interference. Looks like we're going to get a power play here for Memorial. Just what Bedford did not want. Oh, they're going to call charging. I didn't think it was interference, but uh, as he had, you know. But he was definitely a charging. He took a couple good strides to get to that uh, that player from Memorial. So a penalty here, charged to the Bulldogs. 9:45 remaining. Two-minute power play here uh, awarded to Memorial. Well, they got a couple extra bodies on the ice <laughs> as they're trying to regroup. So Memorial at the top. Right in. Not really seeing that puck was uh, Lindbergh come up big all game. I don't think he saw much of that puck as it just drifted right by him. Shot by Pelletier at the point. And that's where those penalties come back to bite you because uh, Bedford had been dominating the action five on five and now in a shorthanded situation they give up the quick goal to Memorial. Worst lead in hockey as you know, two to zero. So the momentum switches over to Memorial. Looks like we're gonna we're gonna need uh, Bulldogs really just to regroup here, settle everything down, uh, generate a little bit of offense, put a little pressure on Memorial again. Asa Park, a quick shot, swallowed up by Brandon McKenzie. Yeah, as we talked a little bit about the start of the period, when you get that lead, you sometimes get lulled into a false sense of security, and you don't play as hard, you don't push the puck as quickly down the ice as you should, and next thing you know, a goal scored, and you're now you're in trouble. Well, we just saw that as they took a, a penalty and, uh, you know, the odd man play right there. They uh, you know, Memorial with capitalizing with a goal. So this is a big sequence here in the game as Memorial looking to come out of that zone and put pressure again on, on Lindbergh, who's come up big most of the game today. Uh, whistle a little offsides call, change the lines, both teams need fresh legs out there. That's one of those offside, offsides calls that you hate to see because Bedford was going to have the puck with momentum going the other way, uh, yet they, they blew it offsides anyway. Well, winning that puck all the way past his defenseman is uh, Tempesta. <laughs> Chipping that puck out to Blaisdell. Alex Abad. Regrouping behind the net, sending two forwards really far and long. Just trying to spread out the uh, spread out the defense from Memorial. Losing an edge right there. Tempesta down low. Laid off sides. Players in white have to come outside the blue line. Deflect it up over the box of uh, Memorial and into the big crowd behind the Memorial bench back there. <laughs> but the puck will come back down into the, the Memorial end, which is useful for a Bedford on this faceoff here. Well, Mem Mem uh, Bedford having the opportunity to change and put fresh legs out there, Memorial just not having the same where they keep their line out there and put just try to play with two lines at this point. Jay Roberto behind the net, helping out his D, comes out. Brett Veyu with the puck, carrying it through the neutral zone. Fakes a shot, gets it in below the half, below the half wall, and players going to the net, unable to connect. Nice little soft saucer pass through to Jay Roberto. Roberto keeping that puck in play. Down low, Brett Veyu looking for a teammate out front. Finds Jacob, it. real big shot. 
Big save. Matt Musgrave getting challenged by Putney. Real nice play by Putney. And out with the puck comes Brett Veyu again. Looking for a teammate, looking for a pass out front. Jay Roberto Good. picks up the loose puck. What a nice play by Bryce Jacobs in front of the net. But unfortunately knocked that puck directly to uh, number 11, Jay Roberto, who's able to just hit that easy soft shot right to the back of the net as Brandon McKenzie was down. And Brett Veyu making the great setup pass, just trying to get, trying any way possible to get that puck in front of the net. And good things happen when you do. Well, he telegraphed, I'm passing this puck about halfway through into the zone. <laughs> he, he, he let everyone on the ice, including his teammates, know I'm passing this puck. And yet he still made a good pass. <laughs> So big, uh, big goal right there by the Bulldogs, able to capitalize and and keep a two-goal lead here. That goal, that, that goal really makes a difference. Yeah, especially with just six and a half minutes left. Um, now we just got to make sure Bedford doesn't get complacent again and let Memorial push the action. Back to Brett Silva, looking for a shot from the point. Asa Parker trying to keep that puck on his forehand, just couldn't do so. Tyler Gamble out in front of the net, scramble, loose puck. Still scrambling. Another shot by Gamble. Big save by Brandon McKenzie as he... A little frustrated Brandon McKenzie is getting as the pucks just keep coming at him. Making save after save. Just he's getting a little frustrated down there. Uh, probably more so with his teammates, but taking it out on a couple of Bulldogs right there. Yeah, I think he got lucky there too. The, the first two uh, exchanges were titter-tatter, but that last uh, shot by McKenzie could have been called a rough. Well, fortunately for them, they did not call it. So five on five action here. Stepping into the play was Valancourt, covering nicely Gamble, coming back on D. Looking for a teammate. Really nice play by Brett Silva. Oh, bad hit. Big not hit called. right there by Pelletier. He's done that a few times. Break Asa away. Parker looking for a break here. Ooh. Again, McKenzie with a slash as he goes by. So a big hit in the corner there by, by Pelletier on, on Brett, on Brett, on Tyler Gamble. Any yeah. closer to the boards, that would have been a call. Fortunately, he's far enough away. Or any further around the back, yeah. it would have been called a hit to the back, which they're really putting emphasis on this year. Oh, just fluttering that puck out of the zone is Memorial. Challenging the play. Nate John. Delayed offsides. Yeah, John didn't realize the puck had bounced out of the zone, so he got caught. Changing the defensive pair for Memorial. Leaving out their offense again, and it's just... Too many legs here from the Bulldogs. It's a nice advantage to have. You have at least three solid lines you depend on. Uh, with the puck comes a Memorial. Pelletier just taking liberties out here. Uh, yeah, you can see a frustrated Memorial team right now is trying to get a little more aggressive. Well, we're going to get a power play here awarded to Memorial after an interference called on Cam Blaisdell. So Memorial goes on a power play here, 4.57 remaining in a 3-1 to one game. Uh, looks like the Bulldogs are going to call call on Alec Lindbergh to really step up here and be their top penalty killer in net. As a Memorial opts to keep their guys out there, put out their first line, they're going to call a timeout, settle this game down a little bit, and try to set up a play. Yeah, and rest that first line. So 4.57 remaining, and uh, call a timeout. They're looking to set up a play, try to rest their first line, as you mentioned just a moment ago. What do you think Putney's going to set up here? I know the Bulldogs are going to try to do the same on their end. 
Yeah, well, of course, with the man advantage, what you want to do is work the puck around the outside as much as possible and then try to get somebody to the front of the net. So I'm sure they're working on a way who's going to be in front of the net, how they're going to get them there, get them open, and try to get the puck to them. And on the side of the Bulldogs, you're looking for Alec Lindbergh again to step up and be their top penalty killer here. Either control a puck, control a save, cover it up, maybe get a whistle, and again, let their guys rest, maybe get a change in line. So... Uh, both teams are setting up, both coaches are talking to their players at the moment and getting their guys ready here, but this is a big part of the game with an you know, advantage to Memorial on a power play here. Again, if they have a, an opportunity to score a goal, they can cut that lead to, you know, by two, and again, a two-goal lead is worst lead in hockey, as you know. We've seen so many times over, as I've watched, you know, decades of hockey of the Boston Bruins all the way down to youth hockey. It's two-goal leads are... It's, it's really who can sustain it, and then also who gets the next goal. The next goal really is a big goal. It, yeah, it, it, absolutely. And if, if uh, Memorial scores on this power play, uh, then you know you're going to see a pulled goalie towards the end and a real chance to tie the game late. So Asa Parker just putting pressure on anybody here. Just to, trying to go as hard as he can to the net and stumbles and takes out both guys and almost took the goalie out at the same time. So... Face off inside the zone. Thought they might have thrown that uh, face off to the top outside of the blue line, but I guess not. Well, I don't see any reason. I mean, there's no penalty to call for it, and uh, you know the whistle blew deep in the zone, so I don't see any reason why they'd bring it out. Oh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe because it was the offensive player knocking the net off. That was just my thought, but that's okay. And the goalie and Parker continue to go at it. They're finally going to assess Parker. While well, those two have been, been talking all game, Asa Parker heads to the net, uh, pardon me, heads to the penalty box for it. Sure, they call it interference or what have you. Uh, Captain Brett, uh, Brett Veyu having a little discussion with the referee trying to understand, you know, if we're going to call one, why aren't we going to call the other? Let's see what the uh, what we come up with here on the call. But in any event, it's going to be a five on three for a minute and 50 seconds for Memorial. You know, oftentimes, you know, as a the dad of a referee, uh, you can argue all you want. They made that call. That's going to be the, the call's going to stay. Yep. <laughs> They're not going to change it. Uh, so Drew Conley heads over, talks to the referee that made the call, and brings a ref to the bench. And they're having a little bit of a chat with the coaching staff, trying to get a better understanding of why one call, not the other. So a five on three here for a Memorial. So M Memorial looking at out wide. Big, big play right there by Brett Silva. Again, stepping in front of that play. Big shot block. Now notice with only three players on Bedford, they're not pushing the man into the zone to try to disrupt it. Uh, they need to keep three men back at least. So Valancourt behind the net. Brett Silva pushing that puck wide. Langley, Burgess to Langley. Quick shot, kick save. Loose puck, another big block right there by Brett Silva. Brett Silva acting as a second goalie out there. A little bit of an errant pass, unable to control it. Pelletier at the blue line. Out it goes with one minute remaining on this five on three for Memorial. Yeah, so the half of that five on three is gone now. So Bedford weathering the first part of it. Let's see if they can hang on. Johnson looking for Putney. Putney down low, unable to connect with Pelletier on the half wall. Johnson leaves it for Pelletier. They play a little scissor pass right there. Johnson on the half wall, up to Burgess. Quick shot, again blocked. Brett Silva, that's the third block in a row for him going to have some welts tomorrow. Oh, he's coming to the bench holding his stomach. I think he might have taken that one off his wrist. Boy, it takes a lot of courage to stand in front of a big big shot right there, not have the big pads like a goalie. Oh, Pelletier from Memorial looking for a teammate. Off to Burgess. Pelletier at the top. Quick shot. Deflected wide off Penalty's of Alex, over. Alex Abad. One of the penalties over. And only five Nate seconds John, left on the other. And they kill off both penalties here as Asa Parker comes to the bench. So a big penalty kill there, killing off that five on three. No real chances getting through as uh, 
the Bulldogs were able to really just halt every shot that the uh, Memorial had. No real chances. So uh, well, I think um, uh, the goalie made a couple saves there, a couple pad saves, but nothing really uh, hugely uh, dangerous. Griffin Gagne bringing that puck in deep. Asa, Asa, Alex. Boy, man, I've had a hard time today with the names. I know every kid on this team, too. I don't get it. It's the heat of the moment. It might be. It might be. Less than two minutes left here, though, for Bedford to hang on. Looking for anything in front of the net, trying to get some movement. Able to knock that puck wide, Matt Musgrave. Back to the point. Quick shot off a of body. Loose puck and taken away, Griffin Gagney. Tyler Gamble able to get that puck out. And here comes a break. Jay Roberto looking for Tyler Gamble. Looking for a pass it off the post. the post. Got it by the goalie, just couldn't score. Boy, what a nice move. And looked for the defender, looked off the goalie as the pass and even brought it to the net, took a backhander. Great chance. Very, very good chance right there. So Putney looking for a teammate in a red shirt off the bird. To, to Bryce Jacobs. Again, just tossing that puck in as the time gets down to one minute remaining in the third. So again, we want to thank Castle Hill Sports for providing us with this uh, opportunity today. I'm joined by Pete Johnson and into the back of the Through net. The legs. Jacob Rio just picking up a loose puck and throwing it to the net and unable to get the stick down to prevent that from going five hole. Brandon McKenzie, who's had a heck of a game today, yeah, it's too bad because he has played real well and obviously the frustration setting in here late in the game and he's not getting the support up front that he wants with all those goals and, or go and shots on him. But uh, he did play a nice game uh, despite the score. Hannah DeRozier off to, off to Luke Tempesta with a quick shot to the back of the net. Jumping on that loose puck. You know, that'll start it from behind the play at the red line and win the faceoff. Hannah DeRozier off the McDonough and gets it in the zone. And eventually Nate John just trying to make a play and that loose puck squirts out. Tempesta just selecting to take a slap shot right there and finds its way to the back of the net. Bulldogs score in a couple seconds here. Two goals in the final minute of this game to put the separation between them and Memorial. Now the score is five to one Bulldogs. Happened quick. Well, this is what scares, I think, some of the teams in this Division I is, is the ability of the Bulldogs just to score goals quickly. And that's, uh, you know, they've been doing it all season. They, they did it against Pinkerton. They did it against uh, Memorial today. They did, they've done it a couple times. It's been, it's been exciting to, to be a fan and watch it take place. Yeah, and they're getting it from a lot of different people, too. They're getting uh, a lot of contributions from a bunch of people. So as this time expires here in the game, uh, the Bulldogs take away a victory, five to one over Memorial. And I mean, that was a real tight game, Pete. You know, two to one for a portion of this third period as they battled through a couple of, you know, power plays and penalty kills for Memorial and on our side. And it just to separate that, that third goal was the big goal. And then finally, the, you know, the next couple goals after that were just icing on the cake as a, the Bulldogs finish off this uh, five to one win. Yeah, five to one certainly doesn't reflect how close the game was for most of the most of the time. Uh, the wheels came off the bus just the last few minutes there from Memorial, but other than that, they were in the game uh, through late till late in the third period. And they were at a three-one, even with three-one, they had a power play chance that they could have closed it to uh, three-two. Well, I, I think uh, the Bulldogs really controlled that game for much of the game. They deserved the win today. Uh, five to one, I agree. I don't. I don't think it's really the score that we saw for this game, but it was really a nice victory for the Bulldogs. Uh, I think this really just stamps the season for them. Marks this this part of the season where, you know, they're eight and zero at the moment. Uh, they're carrying their way through the season, and this was a big victory against a, a talented group, a team that won the state championship only a few seasons ago, from Memorial. So, a really big win today.
Yeah, one of the better teams they're going to see all year, and certainly a team that's already beat them once this year. So to come back and take this victory for the one that counts is is, is a good a good point. Um, they got a little back on their heels there in the third period, which I'm sure that the coaches are going to address with them going forward. But other than that, a, a good solid effort. Absolutely. Well, we have a little bit of time off. The next game is next Saturday. Uh, the, the boys and, and girls from this uh, Bedford High team uh, have a few more midterms to get through. So they got a week of practices before the next game, uh, but I'm sure the coach will be having them ready to go. So thanks for joining us today at Sullivan Arena. Pete, thanks for working with me today. I appreciate it. My so Bulldogs win 5-1 to one over Memorial. Uh, we'll see you the next time. Thank you.